Hello YouTube, this is Sonic2KK here, and welcome back to another Love2D tutorial. Now, don't panic, I haven't wiped everything out from our uh, other game, Eat That Food. It's, it's still here, everything's okay with it, but uh, I think we're going to take a break from it. Hold on, just have a mystery value here. And we're going to work on the Love2D physics module. I'm going to work on teaching it, and as you can see, I have a basic shell of a Love2D game. Love that focus, key pressed, etc. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be teaching uh, almost all that is in the physics module. So if we say love dot physics, love dot physics, uh, we go here to the wiki page. I plan on teaching everything in the wiki page. Yes, it, it isn't lightweight like the, the wiki says, but it is still a part of Love 2D. And I think it is important that I teach it because there aren't very many tutorials on it because... Not very many people use it, but I think it is, it is incredible. It is almost, if not, it is a full wrapper of Box 2D into Lua, which is just incredible. Think about that. All the power of Box 2D, Box2D.org, it's a physics engine. Angry Bird uses it. It's written in C++, but it is incredible. Like, uh it's just amazing box 2D. I use it with LibGDX a lot. And I think it's a shame not very many people use it. But uh, I thought I'd take it upon myself to learn exactly how to use it. And how, how it works. And teach you how to use it. Because it'll help me learn and it'll help you learn. And it'll be a good time alright. So, time for me to shut up and let me just teach you it. So, let me start by saying that... Uh, it takes care of a lot of stuff. Uh, you, uh, it takes care of collisions for you. It, it does basically everything Box Two D does. Uh, a lot of tutorials that I've seen for it, they copy what is on the wiki. Uh, for, uh, Box Two D or for the Love Two D Physics module, they seem to like to copy what is already documented, which I don't necessarily agree with. But it, it's their style. I'm not gonna say it's wrong. But, uh, uh, hold on a second. My shoe came off. How embarrassing. Uh, so yeah, it. a lot of people seem to copy what's on the wiki, their choice. I'm going to try and do it my own way. It might reflect in some tutorials that I've watched and what I've read, but it's not going to intentionally be off the wiki. It's going to be the way I use the physics module, which is, like, a lot of people use it. Um... But you need to have a good knowledge of Lua, obviously, and you need to know how Love 2D works. So, yeah, on with the tutorial. If you watch my recent Lua tutorials, you'll know that you should always use a local keyword and what happens when uh, you use it. If that tutorial, for some reason, isn't up, then remind me to upload it and look it up yourself. But basically, it means that it's faster to access, it'll be deleted quicker, and other files can't access it, so it'll be uh, better for name conflicts. So... Uh, what you want to do is type local world equals love physics new world and then in the world you give it uh, a, the uh, x gravity because this is where you define the gravity for your world. So how much gravity do you want to be in the x-axis? We don't want any but you might. Uh, it'll mean gra objects will get pushed to the side and then here we define what we uh, want the y gravity to be, which is on the y axis, which if you don't know, it's like whenever you jump up and you fall down again. Um, that's the gravity, and I believe on Earth it is 9.81. And then this is uh, true. This is to do with body sleeping, and that means a body sleeping is a body, which is a thing in Box 2D. It is a body, it is a shape, an object in our world. Because everything in Box 2D goes in our world. That's why we create a world. Think of it like Earth. And then a body would be like uh, me and you. We would be bodies. We would be human beings. Uh, that, uh, well, <laughs> as if you could see it. But there's a chair uh, right across, like in my line of sight. It's a body. The chair I'm sitting on right now is a body. My laptop is a body. My TV is a body. My Xbox is a body. My Wii is a body. Uh, everything like that, that's all body, they're all bodies, but if the body hasn't been moved for a while, like if you haven't, if the body 
isn't like if you don't move the body or you don't interact with the body for I don't know how long it is, but if you don't interact with bodies for a long amount of time, then they sleep. And this says our body's allowed to sleep. And we want to say yes, because if they don't, they will take up additional computing power, which right now, whenever we only have like five shapes, probably won't matter. But later on, it will. So make that true, because we want bodies to sleep. But then as soon as like we, if we move them or if we touch them, then we want them to wake up. And yeah. So this is our box 2D world. All done. And yeah. So then what we want to do down here is we want to make a table called objects and set it equal to this. And this uh, creates a table, obviously, called object. And this is where we're going to store all our objects, right? An object is a body is part of an object. The TV is an object, but deeper into that, it's a body. And then deeper into that again, there's a fixture and a shape. But we're going to dive into all that. In a little bit. So then what we want to do down here is say local objects dot uh ball. No, let's make a, a box. Box equals this. And uh what this does, this creates a table inside the object table, tableception, called objects dot box. And this this is in this is a table in the objects table. So we want so then what we do is we say uh Objects dot ball. Hold on, let's bring it down. No, it's not a ball, it's a box. Creating our box. Objects dot box. Uh, dot. Uh, body. Equals love dot physics dot new body. Uh, Uh, hold on. Just thought somebody was at the door there. Um, so what we do here is we give it the world that we want the body, the body to be spawned in because you can have multiple worlds. I don't know how that will work out, but because I've never used it, but we might actually do that in a future tutorial. Make multiple worlds. So we want to give it the world. So the world, because that's what we call it up here. And then we want to say, um, um. The X position. So actually what we could do up here, objects.box.x equals say 10. Objects.box.y equals 20. I oh, know we don't need the commas. But th these aren't fields that are in this, this these aren't variables that box to the like uh, it's hard to explain. These aren't predefined, these are things that we're defining. And this returns a body, by the way, so that's why we store it in a variable, because it returns the body. So here we want to say, world, the exposition, objects.box.x, objects.box.y, and then the type, we want to say, dynamic. Now, what the heck does this do? So you should understand this, yeah, that's the world we want to put it in, pretty straightforward. Objects.box.x, okay, this is the exposition that we defend right here. And then we want to say objects.box.y. Yep, fair enough. Whoa, dynamic. Where did you pull this from? Where did you get this string from? Dynamic. Whoa. Whoa, hold your horses, Eamon. Where did you get this from? Well, dynamic is a predefined string in box 2D, right? So whenever we go into, whenever we call a body, right? Whenever we call love.physics.new body, it takes the world, the x position, the y position, and the type, the type of body that we want to make. And this is a dynamic body. By default, it is a static body, which is a body that does not move. It is not affected by gravity. But uh, dynamic bodies, which is this, will get affected by it. So a dynamic body would be something like uh, a ball. A ball is dynamic because the ball moves. Right? Dynamic basically means it can move. Static means that it cannot move. Um, so a ball can move, but the ground that the ball sits on, uh, not sits on, but it like, bounces up against, does not move. Well, in most cases it doesn't. Uh, but the ball would bounce on it. So we want the ball to bounce up and down. So what we want to do is we want to say that it's dynamic. It can move dynamically. Whereas by default it's static, which means it cannot move. But 
other things can be influenced by it. And, yeah. Basically, it's a dynamic body, a body that can move. A static body is a body that cannot move. And I don't know if Love 2D has it or not, but there's a kinematic body, which I will get into later, but not right now. So, objects.box.shape equals love that physics that not new rectangle shape this is a predefined function that returns a rectangle shape and what we are going to do in here is pass it in the width and the height so we want to say objects.box.width w equals uh say 32 objects.box.y or no height equals 32 no, what we want to do is here is say objects.box.width, objects.box.height, and then I want to say objects.box.fixture equals love dot physics dot new fixture. The rectangle shape is basically just the shape for the body. Uh, it should be pretty obvious. It's just the shape, and th this takes the width and the height of the the rectangle of the box in our case the same but rectangle square it doesn't it doesn't uh care <laughs> so here we want to say the fixture and the fixture is basically the physical properties of the box this is the body this is kind of like what it looks like or this is like the skeleton this is the skin and this is the physical properties this is like it's like how much bounciness it has to it how much friction it has uh yeah here we give it the objects dot dot box dot body objects dot box dot uh shape and then one one is uh oh it's one it's it's oh what do you call it it's um not mass is it the mass hold on. I forget the, the name of it. Hey, that's what it was. Oh, this is the this is the density of it. You should know what density is. Um, it's basically like if something falls, like a feather. Um, I'm gonna take Dermot Fan's example, <laughs> but uh, say you have a stone and a feather, right? A stone would fall faster because it has more density. It's 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 very dense. It has more density to it. Um, whereas the feather doesn't, uh, if the feather had the exact same amount of density as the stone, they would fall at the same speed, but, uh, the stone can fall faster because it's, it's kind of heavier, kind of, if you want to think of it that way, it's, it's like heavier, uh, there's more, there, it's, it's denser, it's, there's more matter inside it, kind of, whereas the feather, it's very thin and it doesn't have very much. Whereas if the feather had the exact same amount of density, then it would fall at the same speed. But this really only matters for dynamic bodies. For static bodies, it doesn't really matter. So I want to say object dot box dot fixture. The fixture is like an arm, kind of. It's like a fixture could be an arm. Uh, and then this could be the leg dot fixture. Uh, these don't have to be called body shape and fixture, by the way. Um... But that's just the a good example. So we're gonna say here set resolution, and this is how bouncy it is. As a lot of people say, basically if you bounce a ball, it'll bounce back up again, and that's because it has a high restitution. If you want to look it up on um, restitution, you can if you don't know what it is. But basically, it's it's the bounciness of it. It's how bouncy it is, and if you set it to one, it will keep bouncing up and up and up. Like it, it seems it'll bounce down and bounce up again at the same height consistently forever we set this to point nine it'll slowly uh stop until it doesn't bounce anymore so then um yeah also if you've used box 2d before but you're using love then i'm sorry you had to put up if you ha if you are sorry you had to put up with that explanation because you probably would have already understood it but objects that box start uh set rested or uh love does not have a debug render it does not have any way to render debug land. You have to do that yourself. So, um, this is what you do to defend the body and create it and stuff. But then, uh, you need to go into love.draw 
then you want to say love.graphics.rectangle you're going to say let's say lan for example because remember lan just draws a lan uh, and then here you want to say object the box dot uh, body get x this is a built in method and then we want to say object dot box dot body get y object dot box dot width object dot box dot height and then if we go here uh, let's see will it run no it will not run love for some reason for me today uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and run the love command for running it. You just run your love as you usually would. So here I want to say fun with love YouTube tutorials physics let's just expand that module and let's see end up layer 4 Unexpected symbol near dot. Well, maybe it's because this was local. Uh, oh crap, no, I don't want to open LibreOffice. Don't open LibreOffice, please. Terminal. Yeah, here we are, look. Because this is 10 and 10. And it draws the line of the box. And this was the box that we made, but for some reason it isn't falling. And do you know why it's not falling? Can you guess? It's because we didn't call world update. And this updates our world. This updates everything in our world. Um, so yeah, just don't make this local. Because um, it's already part of a table, it doesn't need to be local. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I put local there, but basically, this updates every body, every fixture. This does everything for us. Just always remember to put this in world and the in love that update world cool on update and it's slowly gonna fall and you know why it's falling so slow but it gets faster and faster as well because we didn't set a meter what we need to do is call love dot physics dot set meter and then how many pixels is equal to a meter because box 2d uses meters and newtons it doesn't use pixels it uses meters and newtons. So we want to set a meter. And we want a meter to be, say, 64 pixels. So every 64 pixels a box moves, it has moved a meter. There we go, there we go. Fall, 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 fall. Then what we need to do, where is it? We need to multiply this by 64. Uh, what we could actually do is, because it's never a good idea to hard code values, up here, and then... We could say um, local picks to meet, pixels to meter, and then times picks to meet. Actually, no. Well, let's see if this works. It might not. Mm. Nope. What we want to do. Hold on. Just uh, do this. Set it to 64. This should actually be. Above, set here, picks the meat, and then times by picks the meat, which is 64, which is the exact same as what we set up here. And it'll move better. So, yeah, you could decrease this to maybe like 32 if you wanted. Actually, what we could do is have this and then have this as picks to meat. And then, yeah, 32, and it falls like that. So, yeah, we need to set how much a meter is. I'm not sure what it is by default. Uh, you can look that up in the Love to Do wiki. Um, but, yeah, you may think, oh, all this just to create a box. But trust me, in future tutorials, we will create functions to do this for us. Uh, because at the end of this, I want to kind of create like an infinite jumper type of game, kind of like Doodle Jump. Um, that's going to be like our end project that we want to make. That's going to be our goal. And hopefully we will get to do that. So, uh, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.